Now here we want to find the domain of the function y equals to square root of 2 minus square root of x. Now, domain of a function is said to be all possible numbers for which the function will be defined. That is to say, every other number that will make the function to be undefined in a set of real numbers is not the domain of the function. So looking at this function right here, square root of 2 minus square root of x. So what are the possible values of x for which this function of x is going to be defined on the set of real numbers? Now, I want you to first of all note that we are having square root here and square root inside. So here, we are going to say that the square root of a number, okay, now that number should be greater than or equal to zero for it to be defined on the set of real numbers. Okay, take note of that condition. For example, now, the radicand of any root, say square root of n, should be, should be um, possible if n is greater than or equal to zero. The reason is because if n is less than zero, then we're going to have square root of a negative number. Okay, any number less than zero is negative. So the square root of a negative number doesn't exist on the set of real numbers, whether we say to be existing on the set of complex numbers. So we don't want the radicand, that is, a number under a square root to be less than zero. Okay, so because of that, we will go ahead and say that 2 minus square root of x should be greater than or equal to zero. Okay? All right, so if that is possible, if that is true, then the square root of this number right here is going to be possible. And as well, we look at this smaller square root, we say that the square root of x, okay, should be, should exist. That is to say that x should be greater than or equal to zero. So in this other square root, considering the x, while in this bigger square root, we're considering all the radicand there. So at once, we are going to make x to stand on one side of the both inequalities, Okay, now on this other inequality, x is already on one side of it. So we look at this other one. So we say multiply it through by negative. So we do that, we say we have a minus of 2, now multiply it through by negative. We're having minus 2, 2 was there already. Uh, this will become plus square root of x is now here, since we are multiplying both sides of the inequality by negative, you know the sign will change. So it becomes less than or equal to zero times negative one is just zero. Okay, so we go ahead to make um, to add two to both sides. So this should become add to the left hand side, add two to the right hand side. So it becomes square root of x is less than or equal to. Okay, so we take square of both sides. So this should become x is less than or equal to the square of two is just four. Four. Okay, so right here we are having that x. On this other hand, we're having that x should be greater than or equal to 0, while in this case we're having that x should be less than or equal to 4. That means x shouldn't be less than 0, x shouldn't be more than 4. Okay, so we can see that the range of values of x lies between the closed interval from 0 to 4, because x belongs to the closed interval between 0 and 4. So this is the domain of that function, just go ahead and plug each of the values of x in this function and you see that that, square, that function will be defined. And take any member that is not in this set and plug in there, you see that that function will not be defined. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel.